Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I've been gone a very long time. Um, you know, lockdown ended and life got busy and I went back to work temporarily for a couple of concerts, about three concerts I did last year. I, three concerts I was very grateful to have and I've been doing a bit of Zoom teaching and a lot of homeschooling and that doesn't leave a lot of time for playing the violin. I've missed you so much. The school's opening soon, hopefully, and I'll be able to get back to recording some more Bach videos and I've got something else up my sleeve. I was very, very lucky over Christmas to get some brilliant violin-related um, uh, presents, which I did ask for. I put them on my list and my family took notice and got them for me. So I'm going to open them. I was very ill over Christmas with the thing that everybody's talking about. And, um, and so it's taken me till now really to feel well enough unfortunately so I'm finally back to health and raring to go. I was lucky enough to win a competition on Instagram just before Christmas which never happens to me but this time it did. I was cruising Instagram like I always do scroll 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 and flicking through stories as I always do all, through all my favorite people that I follow on YouTube and Instagram and on Facebook and Twitter. Hilary Hans violin case account and two set violin and Esther Abrami who's one of my favorites and a really genuinely lovely person and she posts masses of content all the time. Um, and so she's well worth a follow if you don't already but you probably do because she's a social media superstar but in case here she is do follow and I was over on her um, stories and I spotted an amazing concert top that she was wearing that just looked beautiful and then I noticed it was a competition so I anyway um, posted and shared and then I won it she has a new kitten called Raval who's so cute so she has kitten videos she has violin videos she has travel videos she has Instagram stories, um, she is well worth following. Honestly, I haven't opened it yet because A, well, I wasn't feeling well enough, but I also really wanted to do it justice and make a nice video about it. Feel Harmony and Fashion is run by a lovely person who's um, a violinist as well as um, working in fashion. And what she does is make bespoke um, concert clothes. So she, she makes black concert clothes because we always have to be in black on stage. You choose the piece that you want and send her your measurements and, and um, she has a range of dresses to concert tops, skirts. Um, I kind of want all of them to be honest but um, I do have my eye on a, <clears throat> on a skirt that I'll probably be unboxing next. It arrived very neatly packaged in a really tiny little flat box with her lovely logo on it. It's very, very soft and a little bit stretchy. Fits like a dream. Ugh, I haven't practiced in a very long time. I'm not gonna play anything today. This is the nicest concert top I've ever, ever had, genuinely. Clearly, I'm gonna go and buy one of the skirts. I already know which one I want. Uh, the Rebecca skirt, which has like a layer of kind of tulle. What do you call that material? Tulle? Am I saying it right? Tulle? Oh, I don't know. Now all I need is a concert. <laughs> Thank you so, so much for this really, really kind gift. I absolutely love it. And if a concert doesn't come up soon, I for sure I'm going to wear it on my channel to record some Bach. So um, thank you very much. The next thing that I got for Christmas, which I actually asked for specifically, is from Etsy. Carmen Bruner. I bought one of these amazing silk um, violin cloths. Well, it's a bag for your violin, basically, to protect your violin. And I and um, you can choose from different materials. Let me just hold it a little bit closer. You can see the one I, I chose. I put this on my Christmas list and my sister very kindly got it for me. But I also bought one for my um, student. I have a, a little student, one of my favorite, um, people in the world have known her since she was teeny tiny and I now teach all of her siblings. She was having her, her bat mitzvah uh, and I wanted to get her something special but also kind of useful for her career so I got her one of these in a different um, in a different pattern and when I saw it in her case I just loved it and wanted one straight away so 
Um, here's mine. It came in really good time and she was actually really, um, I messaged her with a couple of questions and she was really nice to deal with. She was really quick to get back to me. It's about time I had something like this. My poor little violin needs to be <laughs> treated a little bit better. I just bung it in the, in the band case. Um, this is so perfect. It's in obviously shaped like a violin. Open at the bottom with a drawstring. So let me try it out. Hang on. So my poor under-practiced violin, which I love. I, I will, I will be back one day, I promise. I'm so thrilled with that. I feel really stupid for having let it, let it sit in the packet since Christmas. It's now February, but I was just too poorly to even think about the violin, sadly. I think that makes like the perfect present. If you have a boyfriend or a girlfriend who's a music, who's a violinist, or if you have a student who's maybe graduating or has passed an exam or is doing a big concert or something and you want to, to reward them, I think that makes just a really amazing, amazing present. Thank you so much, Carmen. I'm gonna send you, she doesn't know why I'm doing this video about it. I'm just gonna send it to her. Thank you very much for the really incredible craftsmanship. It's in, wonderful. I had this on my Amazon wish list for two years. Every Christmas and every birthday, I was like, please, please. And no one bought it until finally this Christmas, they finally got the message that I really did mean it. I really did want it. Um, my favorite female violinist, uh, the father of my children is an incredible violinist. <laughs> and I meant to put him first, otherwise he'll get offended. <laughs> my favorite female violinist, but actually my favorite violinist. <laughs> it's um, Hilary Hahn and she commissioned 27 pieces, 27 encores. She recorded a CD of all of them. And um, <clears throat> so this is the score and the part for it. And hopefully if I ever, ever, ever get finished with my bar cycle, which is taking me a very long time, I'm gonna start learning these. First of all, Hilary is currently doing another round of her famous hashtag 100 days of practice. Um, which I should have been doing really and haven't got round to yet because I've, I mean, I've just been recovering, but it's time. <laughs> I need to get back in shape. I haven't played properly in months, what with the dreaded virus and Christmas and homeschooling and all of these things. I really, really, really am out of shape. Um, so I'm going to do probably hashtag 100 days of practice. So look out for that coming up soon. Once I'm practiced and back in shape, I'll have to finish off my Bach cycle. Um, and when I do, I can't wait to crack into this. I'm going to practice and record all 27 and uh, record for you guys on YouTube. And um, hopefully you'll come along with me for the journey. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. I'm so very, very late. Happy lockdown. <laughs> Happy February. And hopefully it won't be another four, five, six months until my next video. I'll see you very, very soon. Thank you for joining me. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I always forget this bit. I am supposed to say, and I always forget, please like and subscribe to my channel because it really helps me. Um, it helps YouTube know that you like my video content and want to see more of it so that it pops up on your newsfeed whenever I post. Um, where should I put the little dingy thing? Maybe there. Thank you, bye.